Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know a lot of people have been doing videos about Natty or not, you know, with different celebrities, but I wanna talk about the actual workouts and nutrition regimens that a lot of celebrities go on. Me being a personal trainer myself, a lot of people don't necessarily dive into what they're doing or what I think could be changed to make it even better. Do I think what we're told online is actually what the actor did or did they potentially do more that we're not being told? So I'm looking at Thor's workout. This one was from a while ago. Thor has gotten really big if you've seen any of the pictures for Love and Thunder. But I just wanna jump into this one for a little bit first, uh, basically discuss it with you guys. So according to this, Chris Hemsworth actually went vegan during the shoot, but before he went vegan, he was following a very, pretty standard bodybuilding uh, diet. According to this, um, he ate staples such as chicken, fish, egg whites, brown rice, quinoa, sweet potato, vegetables, bananas, a whey protein shake, and beans. Definitely, these foods could totally help him. Um, they're not mentioning if he ate any kind of like cheat days in this particular thing or cheat meals, uh, which you don't have to do, but some people love their cheat meals because it helps them stay sane between sticking to a really strict diet. Jumping into Chris Hemsworth's workout plan, body weight circuit, as well as an iron circuit. So only five things are listed. I'm assuming they mixed it up more than that potentially. Uh, this says he did pull-ups. Great, obviously, to build lats. Pulling strength, a lot of people don't train their back enough. They always focus on the mirror muscles, AKA the front muscles, their chest, their abs, their arms, their deltoids. I do believe that three sets of 15 repetitions of pull-ups is a great exercise for your back, your upper back and your lats. Um, it said he did three sets of 20 reps for abs. I mean, sure, but there are more functional movements in my opinion for your abdominals than just three sets of 20 abs. I mean, your abs actually, um, brace your body and transfer energy from your upper half to your lower half between athletic movements. So yes, could he have gotten abs with only doing 60 crunches or, or sit-ups uh, per workout? If his body fat was low enough, theoretically, and plus because of the other workouts or strength training movements he does, um, the abs are getting hit secondary just by uh, him doing the other exercises. A lot of people think you have to do abs separately for them to be shown. That's not necessarily true. Uh, I was doing just body weight training for years when I prepped for Power Rangers and I didn't do crunches. I did some planks, but really they just ended up showing from a combination of handstands, a low body fat percentage, and just from being toned for my other movements such as push-ups. So yeah, that's still doable, but I think there are better ways that you could work out your abs than just three sets of 20 sit-ups. Push-ups, three sets of 15 reps for chest. Again, 15 repetitions is not very much for someone as muscular as Chris Hemsworth. I have a feeling he probably did more than that. Maybe that was like a warm up. Uh, I, I have a feeling he did more, but we're not into the iron circuit yet. So maybe he did the body weight first and then the iron circuit. We're just told the movements. We're not told basically if this was a daily thing and every other day thing, or did he do this twice a day? Did he do body weight in the morning and um, weightlifting in the evening? No idea. Front box jumps, three sets of 10 repetitions. Yeah, that I think is pretty brutal if you do it properly. Um, that's a plyometric move. If you train it with enough force every jump, you're not trying to go for cardio necessarily. You're trying to create maximal explosive power in your legs so you recruit all of your muscle fibers. So that's a good one. Body weight squats, three sets of 15 repetitions, they say for your quads. Uh, yeah, I mean, 15 again, I feel is pretty light if he's going at a standard pace, you know, inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Maybe his trainer had him pulse them or hold them at the bottom to get a little bit of an extra burn. Again, 15 repetitions isn't that many, but a lot of people think you have to do way more than you actually do at the gym if your diet is on point and you're taking enough time off. Um, you go to the gym to get stronger, but your diet is really where you lose weight or gain muscle, you know, based off of what you consume and how much of it. Now moving on to his iron circuit training. Um, again, this is the weightlifting part that's told to us. He did barbell squats, so three sets of 15 repetitions. Depending on the weight, I think that definitely could be true, as long as he was going towards muscle failure. Not every single set needs to be towards muscle failure, but like the three sets of you know 15 body weight squats, I doubt Chris Hemsworth was hitting muscle failure at 15. So yeah, you'll burn some calories, but you're not gonna put on size as much as if you do the three sets of 15 with weights, as long as it was heavy enough to make it to where he almost couldn't lift it on that last repetition. Barbell bench press. So yeah, you know, standard bench press, three sets of five repetitions for chest. 
Uh, it's interesting, 15 reps for quads and only five for chest. I do five sets of five usually when I train chest, but it's heavy enough to where I literally can barely get that fifth one back up or you know, I keep one in the chamber so I'm always safe to re-rack it if I don't have a spotter. But again, I don't know if he's doing body weight and iron training in the same day or not. Uh, next, standing military press. So military press is kind of, you know, different people, sometimes they do the incline bench or if you're standing holding the weight and you press it up. Three sets of eight repetitions. This is for his shoulders, depending on your range of motion in your shoulder. Some people train to get the repetition in so their body gets used to the movement versus going heavy. Since a lot of guys in the gym kind of started off training their chest first, makes sense that he's probably stronger with his chest already, hence the only five repetitions versus having to get his legs and his shoulders into the game a little bit more by upping the rep range so he gets used to those movement patterns before he added more weight. Again, we're not told if this is what he did in the beginning or did he eventually change his rep and set weight um, or repetition amount as he progressed in his training. Um, barbell deadlift. So three sets of five repetitions. Again, I'm assuming he's going a little bit heavier for this because when you deadlift, only five repetitions if it's light you're not really doing that much for your body because your body recruits muscle fibers from smallest to biggest and it only recruits as many as it feels necessary to complete the task. Which is why if you see someone, you know, curling really light dumbbell and they do it 10 times because they're told 10 is that magical number, but they're not actually tired at number 10, they're probably going to hold themselves back from maximal gains versus if they switch to a weight that when they hit rep eight or nine, or 10, like it's really intense at that point. The rest were kind of junk reps. They're not maximally recruiting their muscle fibers to get that hypertrophy going, that increase in size in their muscles. Hammer curls. So hammer curl, um, yeah, it's funny because you know, he's Thor and he has a hammer. When you hold the weight this way instead of this way, um, it works your brachialis muscle, which is under your bicep. So it kind of helps lift it. I actually have a whole video on working your biceps. If you guys want to watch that, I go into more detail about the different types of curls you can do, or at least a few, there's a million of them. But yeah, hammer curls, three sets of five repetitions. Again, that sounds great. Um, he's hitting his, I mean, you hit your bicep as well, but yeah, his brachialis, his brachioradialis is being targeted as well. They don't mention anything for his triceps, um, it's interesting that he goes for his biceps, but not triceps, because you can work your biceps a little bit as a stabilizer muscle in some of the other movements. But like, yeah, your, your triceps are used when you bench as well. Um, he also doesn't do a separate thing for his quads and hamstrings individually. He does um, all of these workouts other than the hammer curl are multi-joint exercises. They're compound lifts which is great. So basically if you're short on time, I'm assuming like Chris Hemsworth was when he was prepping, um, a lot of things people will do, they'll superset where they do two workouts back to back. Again, we're not told what his rest interval time was between sets. Did he do pull-ups and immediately do sit-ups or did he do pull-ups then rest and then do sit-ups? Did he do it in a circuit? I mean, circuit usually means you do pull-ups then sit-ups then push-ups then front box and you know, body weight. And they say circuit training. So I'm assuming he went from top of the list and all the way through or they could have just thrown that out as a term because sometimes in training people just say things they don't actually mean exactly what they said. Oh, they also say he did bear crawls, which was separate from his circuit for some reason. Basically he did bear crawls to stay spry by performing these functional exercises. Um, yeah, bear crawls are great. They engage a lot of muscles. I'm pretty good with this. Could Chris Hemsworth have gotten the Thor body with this workout in my opinion? I believe so, but I also believe he may have done a little bit more that we're not being told. I had some other thoughts. So it's not that you can't get in that level of shape, but it's highly unlikely if you only do what that workout shows. Uh, the principle of progressive overload is something I learned in kinesiology. And basically it means that to, in order to get stronger, you have to progressively overload your body with newer challenges, whether that's more weight, uh, more volume, uh, higher intensity, uh, more sets, which is volume, um, and a bunch of other things you can tweak. Basically something has to change in order to get stronger. So if you only ever did 100 push-ups a day, for instance, you're just gonna get as strong as like 100 push-ups if you lived like in a vacuum, unless you did something else, unless you did harder types of push-ups. Something has to change in order to make it progressively overloaded. Maybe that means putting a plate on your back or doing diamond push-ups instead or doing descending push-ups, you know what I mean? So you get my point. So that article wasn't written by Chris Hemsworth's personal trainer. 
Uh, I imagine they were interviewed, but they probably just gave generic answers versus what truly was like the full embodiment of the workout. To get in that level of uh, shape requires typically more than your average workout. Just as, you know, to be a NASCAR driver, even if you drive every day, like in traffic to get to work, doesn't mean you're training the same skill set on the same intensity to be a NASCAR driver. And same way when people are like, I don't wanna to get too bulky working out. It doesn't happen unless you train a very specific way with certain loads and volumes, you know, like a split routine where you're doing three days upper body, three days lower, or, you know, a push pull split and then leg split just to be like primarily calisthenics to get to that level of shape probably isn't what happened. I mean, shape more like the bulk though, like, but it's also very dietary based too. So you have to eat a certain amount of food to add muscle. Like you, you can get stronger, but to add size, you need to have enough raw material for your body to work with, which is why a lot of bodybuilders do bulking phases and cutting phases, things like that. This is fun. I like uh, reviewing different workouts. If you guys want to see me review other celebrity workouts or other workouts you've read about online and I can review and react to them. I think this is a, a cool plan, um, a cool series that I hope to do more of. Thank you so much for your time. Please like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining my Patreon, which enables me to continue making content for you guys. Mejia muscles out.